Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Car Wow. So I'm sat in a Toyota Land Cruiser V8. And next to me is the new Range Rover V8. And we're gonna have a drag race up this slope and compare the cars across a range of off-road challenges to see which is the best off-road. Let's do this. Buy, sell, car, wow. The way this video is going to work is that we're going to compare these cars across six different off-road challenges and each car will be marked by our off-road expert up there, Darren. If a car wins a challenge, it gets two points. If it comes second or last, it gets one point. And if it doesn't complete a challenge at all or fails, it gets zero points. And the car with the most points at the end wins. Now let me tell you about this Land Cruiser. It's got a 4.5 litre twin turbo V8 diesel that puts out 272 horsepower and 650 newton metres of torque. It drives all four wheels. It rides six speed automatic gearbox with a central locking diff. It also has a low range mode. This thing is quite heavy because it's built on a traditional ladder frame chassis and it weighs in at 2.6 tonnes. You can't buy these in the UK anymore. You can get them in different countries though. And this one, if you wanted it now in the UK, about £30,000 so it's holding its value really well. To find out about the Range Rover, I'm just going to check with Nick. Hey Nick, how you doing? I'm doing very well, Matt, thank you. So go on, give me the stats on your car. So this Range Rover has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 with 530 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. The whole thing comes in at 2.5 tonnes and it costs 138,000 pounds. Basically, all those numbers are better than this, apart from the price. <laughs> Obviously, brand new car and a Range Rover. Let's drag race up this slope. Am I ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Yeah, brake boosting, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Go, come on. Smashed him. Come on, go, 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 go. Excuse my French. This just shot off. First question I got for you, Darren. Did I jump the start? I don't think I did. No, he delayed on the start. He delayed? Oh, Nick, what happened to you on the start? Had it in gear, had it ready to go, holding it on the brake, floored it, and I just couldn't keep up. Is what it is. It's got way more power and more torque. Better grip. Yeah, I'm on all-terrain tyres, aren't I? Yeah. It's just on... All weather. All weather. But that's what the car comes with, and that's what this car's got, when the chap who owned it bought it from wherever he bought it from. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Anyway, <laughs> so two points for this, right? Yeah. One point for the Range Rover. Let's move on to the next challenge. We're gonna have another race now, only this time down the slope. And the objective here is to be the slowest. So the last past the cone wins. It's all about a controlled descent. So I've put this car into four wheel drive low. I've also selected hill descent control. What settings have you gone for in your very high tech Range Rover, Nick? Well, I've got a lot to choose from, but I've double checked and the right ones to be in are mud and ruts mode, low range on the gearbox. Then you put it in hill descent you put the gearbox then into manual and force it to start in low range first gear. And then using the cruise control button, you set that as low as possible. <gasps> There's a lot to remember, but it's all set and ready to go. God, that was like bloody Valium to the ears, that was. Blimey. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to take my feet off the pedals to prove that I'm not breaking with my foot. Off the pedals. God, that light just shot off and then the brakes kicked in to slow it down. Can you hear the noise of that? That's it nibbling at the brakes. I mean, I'm getting absolutely destroyed by that Range Rover. This was pretty smooth going down, but that is just walking so slowly. It's still going down. God, it was boring to listen to him. Tell me how he set it up. Now it's boring to watch him go down that slope. Oh, gosh. Tiring, that is. Let's hear Darren's verdict anyway. I know what it's going to be. Oh, go on then, Darren. It's controlled, but nowhere near as controlled as a Ranger, I'm afraid. Oh, it's just in a different league, isn't it? Yeah. That's like modern technology versus a bit more old school. It is the older than new. Yeah. yeah. Two points to the Range Rover, one point to the Toyota, so it's three apiece. Even Stevens. In this next challenge, we're going to drive into the woods, go around a tree, it's quite a tight hairpin, and then back on ourselves. Darren's going to guide us and see which car seems the most manoeuvrable and capable through this little obstacle course. Let's find out what happens. I'm going to go in normal drive mode, not low range, and I've turned the hill to sync control off and I've got the suspension jacked up all the way. Turning circle on this is 11.8. Turning circle on that, it's like 11 because it's got rear wheel steering, so he should have an advantage on that hairpin, but we'll find out. Go on then, Range Rover, do your best. Just want to thank Planet's charity who's lent us this car and right let's see how it does. 
But you won't see many Range Rovers dusty like that though. Whereas this Land Cruiser, they're always a bit dusty using the desert. There's a reason why people in the desert use these and not Land Rover products. Because you can't afford to break down in the desert because you might run out of water and then you'd perish. If you absolutely have to have your life depending on a truck, I'd say Land Cruiser. But he's gonna win these off-road challenges because that Range Rover has I mean, just walked it so easy around there. Look at that. That looked too easy, Nick. That was an absolute doddle. Damn. Right, here we go. I've got proper lad frame shots and you can feel it when you get over the bumps. <laughs> you get properly shaken about. It feels like a serious machine, this does. A serious hardcore off-roader. I've got to stay wide to be able to get this round here. Come on, I reckon I might be able to do it. I'm going to do it in a one -er. Will I? Darren's watching. He's giving the nod of the head. Uh, look at that. I thought the car was going to struggle around there, but it absolutely didn't. Ooh, I think this is going to be a close call, this. I thought the Range Rover was just going to win that easily, but because I made it around that tree all right, I might have just nicked this. Go on then, Darren, tell me, tell me, did I win? Old school one. Yes! Do you know what? Once I made it around that tree, I was like, whoa, I've gone around there in a one -er. I'm going to have him. I didn't think he was make it in one go, but he went straight around with no issues. Okay, so two points to the Land Cruiser, one to the Range Rover, and that means that it's five to this, four to that. The next challenge is the axle twister. So we're going to crawl up this slope, which is heavily rutted, and then we're going to turn around and come back down again. This is really testing out the car's suspension travel, their chassis articulation, their ground clearance, their approach and departure angles. We'll see how they get on. The Range Rover will lead the way and I will follow. I'm going in low range mode, car as high as it can be. Let's see what happens. Okay then, Nicholas, lead the way and I will follow. So this car has an approach angle of 31 degrees, brake over of 24, departure of 23. So the Range Rover's got it beaten in all those numbers. Also ground clearance, 225 millimeters. Once again, Range Rover's got it beaten. I've got independent suspension at the front, but at the back, I've got a rigid axle, which is good for off-roading. Oh, oh, what's he doing here? I'm gonna give a bit of space, because I reckon I can do this much better than he can. That's looking cool, he's got his front wheel in the air, looks wicked. Look at this. Oh, la, 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 la. Where? I just bombed out. Is this on high? It's on high. It's up. Ah. What is going on? My ground clearance just did me dirty there. I was so smug that I was just going to smash this. What is going on? Now my stability control is going crazy. Look at that. There we go. Oh, no, no, I'm going to lose this now. I've got to go down. Maybe I can redeem myself on the downward journey. Dan's looking very, like, concerned. That just lifts higher. Whoa, it looks so cool as well. <laughs> you know, it's a luxury car that's doing the job, isn't it, off-road? Oh, wait there, he's paused. I need Darren's full attention on me. Come on, Darren, show us some love. Yeah, I'm trying to go that way. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. This is the bit where I bombed out a bit last time. Mm. The steering's quite heavy, even though it's hydraulically assisted. Yes. Go slowly. This is this is the bit. Don't bottom out. Go slowly. Don't shut your eyes. Look at <laughs> shake my eyes instead of looking at what Darren was saying to do. I reckon that grounding out just cost me the win there. Let's find out though. That ground clearance did me, didn't it? Rear locker. Really? That's what that's what won up the hill. 
locking rear differential, you were having to bring traction control in. Yeah. Once you got the hand traction control, it was driving lovely. Yeah, did I bottom out as well? Yes. That didn't at all. No. Okay, there we go then. So, one point to the Toyota and two to the Range Rover. That means that the scores are six points apiece. Everything to play for. The next challenge is the side slope. So we're going to drive down this bank. Cars will be on their side and we'll see which one deals with that the best. Now, if you're thinking about buying a new car and you need to sell your current car and you want to find out how much it's really worth, then you can do that through Carway. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car. It's completely free. If you want to check out that service right now, just click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below. If you want to do it at a later date, just simply Google Help Me car wow and we'll help you find out how much your car is really worth okay let's do this challenge i bet his car's going to twist quite a bit but i think i might benefit from having that rigid rear axle oh, oh bloody hell look at that because it's such a tall car it really looks quite sketchy that does look at the suspension in its thing here we go This feels pretty steep. <laughs> Look at this, I want to show you this, right? This is a bit ridiculous, but you can see how steep it is by the way that's dangling. Can you see? Look at that. Anyway, this car, <laughs> I'm sliding up my seat now and the seat belt's bloody locked. I'm gonna have to just carry on with that seat belt on, which is not good. Oh well. That was a stupid thing to do. I just wanted <laughs> to see just how much angle's on it. Feels like quite a lot from in here. I'm literally like having to lean on the door. This handled it so well though, look at that. Wait. Oh. Ah. Come on, Darren, come on. Give me a win. Yeah? That's a no, isn't it? <laughs> no, I can't split them. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't split them. Ah. You, you really can't split them? Very, very, if it was a nut, it would be the Ranger could push the wheels on the ground a little bit better because I had a bit more suspension travel. So you can split them? Can you really split them? I'd rather you didn't split them than split it in favour of that. But if it is in favour of that, just, just be decisive, Darren. The Range Rover kept the wheels on the ground better. So it wins? Yeah. Why are you reluctant? Because this was doing so well. Okay, but really, you've got to make a decision? For grip, Range Rover. Oh, okay, there we go then. Finally, we got there. Another two points to the Range Rover and one to this. So, seven points to the Toyota, eight overall to the Range Rover. Final challenge then, it's the steep, rocky slope. It's just a case of getting the cars up the slope with as little fuss as possible. Darren will decide which is the winner. Will one fail? It looks pretty extreme. Now, if you like these kind of off-road videos and you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss an upload. Right, let's do this. That was just like it was driving on the flat. Nick, that was effortless. I am blown away by how easy this made that really tough climb. I don't know how I can beat you. If I can even get closer, I'll be blooming pleased, but speechless. Also nervous, because I've got to do it myself now. It's going to be close, this one. They both achieved the goal. The Ranger is slightly more luxurious. What do you mean by that? Smoother. It was smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. This was a bit... Bu -bu 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 Again, it was down to slightly bigger tyres on this because it's got low profile, so we bounced more. Yeah. And the rear locker. Why didn't it fit... Oh, I just noticed my camera. You were right about it being bouncy. Look here. <laughs> it's bouncing this camera. <laughs> All one key. Hello. Anyway, so rear locker did the business again. Yeah. Why didn't you not fit a rear locker to this? Do people fit them? Yes. It's quite a, like, a common aftermarket upgrade. Yeah, it, is. it is an option with this vehicle as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so the person who spec this car forgot to see that really important box. Let that be a lesson, okay? Another lesson is make sure that your camera's mounted properly <laughs> if you're filming off-road videos. So, one point to this, two points to the Range Rover, which means that the scores at the end, eight overall for the Toyota Land Cruiser, but 10 points and the win for the Range Rover. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some other videos click on those windows there and if you haven't done so already subscribe to this channel by hitting that button there